Hi guys, welcome to Mazda Recycling. My name is Bryn and I will be your tour guide as we travel together through our recycling facility. Here at Mazda, we accept and process scrap metal, concrete, tires, wood, cardboard, and single stream recyclables. Single stream recyclables are the materials you recycle at home, like plastic, paper, metal cans, and glass bottles. These materials are recycled right here at our Tinton Falls facility and transported to other locations to be reused as other items. Recycling is when you take things that have already been used and thrown away and make new things. This is super important because it reduces the amount of trash in the landfills, which pollute Earth's soil, water, and air. We need to take care of the Earth, and what better day to learn about recycling than on Earth Day? Today happens to be the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and Mazda Recycling has been recycling for about 30 of those 50 years. Are you ready to see the facility and the recycling process? Come on, let's go. concrete. Our concrete hill receives various concrete materials from highway dividers to concrete blocks to buildings. A big blue machine is fed by an excavator. The machine has two jaws like your mouth which crushes up the concrete. The material is then crushed even further by an orange machine which divides it into two finished products. Crushed concrete one, which is large stones used for filling in big holes, and crushed concrete two, which is small stones and dirt used to fill in smaller gaps. These materials are used to build and fix roadways and streets that we drive on every day. This brings us to the transfer station. The transfer station processes all different types of waste material that cannot be recycled. However, this gives us another opportunity to sort and source recyclable material that would otherwise end up in a landfill. When we see materials that can be recycled, our Mazda employees separate it from the non-recyclable material. This helps us recycle even more. This area receives all different types of materials, from home remodeling, new construction, and a bunch of other items like the ones found in mom and dad's garage. Next stop, wood recycling. Here at Mazda, we turn wood into mulch. The process starts with a log or other wood material being placed into a large wood grinder. It is then cut up, collected, and placed in a compost pile where it will break down naturally for a few months. The material is then grinded a second time. The really fine dirt is eventually turned into topsoil. The larger wood pieces are turned into mulch. Some of the mulch is then colored brown, red, or black, and some of it is left in its natural state. This is because homeowners like different colors in their yard. Mulching is one of the most important ways to maintain a healthy landscape for the Earth's plants. Nature produces large quantities of mulch all the time with fallen leaves, needles, twigs, pieces of bark, flowers, fallen fruit, and other organic material. Our final stop is the metal crusher. Our metal crusher machine works by loading metal into the top. The metal sometimes comes from old cars or other large buildings that were knocked down. The big metal flaps on the side close and crush the material into a long rectangular bar, similar to a rectangular Lego piece, but much larger. When the metal comes out of the side, a large knife cuts it into squares. The material is then loaded into trucks and hauled to smelting plants, which melt the metal down. The melted down metal is used to create concrete foundations, which are then recycled to build new buildings. As you can see, what many of us consider junk is actually valuable material that can be recycled and made into something new. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Make sure you do your part to recycle. You may not be able to recycle concrete or tires, but you can recycle plastic bottles, metal cans, and other materials used every day at home. I hope you learn more about how recycling works once it arrives at our facility here at Mazza. Now it's time to take what you learn and make this Earth Day a chance to reduce, reuse, and recycle. See you next time.